doesn't love the classic Disney movie Mulan? It has action-packed sequences, funny characters, a love story, and amazing songs. It's one of my favorites. So for my reimagined fairy tale, I decided to gender flip all of the characters from the original Ballad of Mulan, which inspired my favorite Disney movie. I decided to gender flip the characters because I wanted to ask the question, what if history was a matriarchy instead of a patriarchy? So the original Ballad of Mulan was an orally communicated Chinese tale from about 400 AD, and it was first written down in the Tang Dynasty, which was about 600 to 900 AD. So scholars go back and forth about the feminist meaning of the poem because the last line, which talks about rabbits and how when they run at the same time, you can't tell who's a man or who's a woman, is very unpatriarchal. But the fact that Mulan sacrifices herself to save her father is very patriarchal. Also, scholars go back and forth about whether or not she was a real person, but most agree that she is fictional. So for my story, I, as I said, I changed all of the genders. So instead of it starring Mulan, it stars Jian, who is a young man who saves his mother from fighting. And it goes along the same um, like narrative of the poem. I just made it more like a story instead of a short ballad. So Jian has to go fight at the Yellow River and then go to the Yan Hills. And when he succeeds in battle, he's sent to the Khan, who's a woman. And when they ask, the Khan asks, what he wants most, he says to go home, which is when he reveals himself to his fellow soldiers that he's a boy instead of a girl. Um, I also kept the last lines um, from the original uh, Ballad of Mulan in my story because I thought it was really cool. I just changed the um, two rabbits running at the same time to two horses running at the same time and you can't tell which one's a man and which one's a woman. So I wanted to focus on how we live in a male domin dominated culture and how the ch um, China did too. So men were in the top of um, everything, all authority positions in like government, um, entertainment, uh, business, much like our society today. So I made all the commanders and generals and even the Khan um, herself was a woman and it was kind of weird because I found myself using he and him instead of her and hers when I was talking about such authority figures. I also wanted to focus on how we live in a male-centered society, so this means that we put masculine qualities above feminine qualities, so this means um, being stronger, less emotional, more logical. So in my story, Jian and his father are very emotional, um, like when Jian comes home, um, while the women in the story and his mother tend to be very stern and not showing emotion. So all in all, um, I wanted to see what it would be like if history was a matriarchy instead of a patriarchy, and I did this by showing um, this tale of ba the Ballad of Mulan, but by making the main character named Jian and him and his battle into saving his mother instead of Mulan's battle saving his father. So I really just wanted to bring to light how uh, a matriarchy would be different from patriarchy, how it would be to see women in men-dominated roles, and how the uh, gender construction by society is made up and we don't always have to follow those rules.